guys, how are you doing? All good? Does this place look familiar? Well, it should. This is the Kuhuku Golf Course. I rode back out here today because I forgot about a, a ride that I did a while back. And I want to tell you about it. Back in 2006, I rode my bike from Kailua, which is 25 miles south from here, and rode out here and then rode my bike along the coast. Well, I, I want to say rode it, but basically it's sand dunes, so I carried the bike wherever there was big sand. I crossed rivers. There's really no trail out there, maybe a small little trail. And I got out there and I went all the way around an area that not too many people have been to. And when I got close to Kuhuku Point, I discovered something that is a little strange and I wanted to share it with you. About 50 yards from the ocean, in this little swale, this little area, past the sand dunes, were these artesian wells, rectangles, on the shoreline. They're not on the shoreline, but a little bit away from it. And uh, maybe two feet deep at the most. And I thought they were, you know, areas that you could raise crawfish or shrimp or something like that. But then it seemed so strange to me because there was coral lining the entire perimeter of these little wells and fish in there and different things growing in there, small little tiny fish. Manini we call it in Hawaiian. And uh, very strange looking. Uh, I took a lot of pictures. I have uh, the strangest thing about this is today those ponds do not exist. Somehow they disappeared and I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if human beings came and touched it, but it's no longer there. And uh, so these pictures are pretty rare, I guess. And uh, I thought I'd share it with you guys. All right, let's, let's head out and go explore the other side of this trail over on Kahuku Point. Hang on, here we go. Or right, this is the edge, the northern eastern edge of um, Turtle Bay Resort. So we're gonna cross the line here. That's kind of what this trail is about. All right, we are on Marconi property. And I'll tell you a little bit about Marconi as we get up here. First, we got to go see this beautiful site here. Oh my gosh. Check that out, huh? Not so bad, huh? Gorgeous. Well, we are no longer on the Turtle Bay Resort property. We have crossed the fence, and what you see over there is the Marconi Building, which is a World War II telecommunications. I think AT&T or something like that. And we were the bridge from the Orient, from Asia, to the mainland. And uh, today, it's basically a, a residential lots and commercial property. And uh, you can ask me whether we're supposed to be here or not. I don't know. But uh, I have to tell you a story. About two weeks ago, I... Uh, came out here to explore because that's really what I do. I, I like to explore and go find things and figure what's going on there. Well, I came out here and I had the same question you're asking right now. Hey, Bob, what are these big piles of dirt doing here? And I told myself, I have no idea. I don't know what they're doing. It's been here a long time. I know that. It looks like they got a 
a warehouse coming up over here. Looks like it's been here for ages. Well, anyway, I come riding out here and I get to the end of this trail. Cause you know, I'm looking for those artesian wells and you get some photographs or some video of what happened there. Well, I get to the end of this bike path, I can go no further. The trike will not go, it's all surrounded by bush and everything. I look out to the end and I say, gee, there's nobody there. It's just all, you know, uh, ocean and really nice. But then I see a car further out, fisherman, I think, oh no. Well, then I hear two dogs barking. And I'm standing up looking out and all of a sudden those two pit bulls, sleek and bullet shaped, come charging after me. They're 400, they're 500 yards away, but they're coming crazy at me. It's like two missiles being sent out. Oh my gosh. I hop on the trike and I, and I take off. And uh, it was, I was so scared. I, I have nothing, I have no pepper spray or anything. <clears throat> and sometimes people say, hey Bob, are you kind of crazy? I said, yeah, because right now folks, I'm at that same spot, two weeks later. Oh my gosh. And what I did is, there's no place to go turn around. But anyway, you know, people ask, ask, did you see how close those dogs got to you? I said, no, because I don't have eyes in the back of my head. And I was doing, I was going that away as fast as, I was going so fast, I didn't even need to use my electric system on the trike. I was so scared. So this is that turnaround spot. Yeah, I'm crazy. No dogs, no car today. We are on the northern point of Oahu, coming around the windward side as we head towards the windward shores in the Ko'olau mountain range that follows that windward shore. All right, right here is where I used to bring my two-wheeler as I would ride around the coast. So this is kind of what my riding surface was. Again, I was exploring. And if you look over to that mound over there, right beyond that is where those artesian wells were. Now I have been back since maybe about six, seven years ago and those artesian wells are no longer there. That's what's so strange about it. I don't think there's any man-made interference at all. Um, so it was pretty interesting, I guess. Anyway, that's what it looked like. Um, you know, if I was um, brave enough or crazy enough, I'd get that drone out and see if I could fly over there. There's a lot of wind though, so I might not be able to do that. Anyway, let me think about it. Okay, I thought about it. Everybody buckle up, going for a ride. You can see that there were motocross or dune buggy trails way back when. Not much action today. Oh my goodness, there it is. The artesian well of Kahuku Point, back to life. It's amazing. Doesn't look like there are many coral heads along the perimeter. Wow, way cool that it's still there. It was dried up on my last visit six years ago. Amazing. Well, there's a little history with this area. Back in the 40s, this area was an airfield. You can see the remnants of the airfield off to the left of the pond. Remember the film Unbroken, the story about the World War II airmen who survived being shot down and captured by the Japanese? Well, this was the airfield that they took off from. In the 50s, the airfield was deserted and turned into a racetrack. My brother would often bring his stock car or motorcycle and race out here. So in the 60s and the 70s, the airstrip was turned into a nudist colony. Hey, don't ask me what a nudist colony and an airstrip have in common. And then in the 80s, it was turned into aquaculture. You know where they raise prawns and shrimp and that kind of stuff? All right, I think I hear some music coming through the PA. Crank it up. I got the right to have my right. I have a say in every day. I got the right to my rights. Don't away if I'm black 
if I'm blue I got my rights So do you I work my day I choose my way I pay my dues Well, the same the same But that's not true You take more from me Than I take from you So listen, my friend Well, we made it. I don't hear the dogs anymore. Wow, what a gorgeous day. Maybe I fly that drone now. Okay, hang on. We're gonna get back onto the Turtle Bay Resort area. The bus is waiting to take you guys back to uh, Waikiki, so uh, make sure you have all your belongings. Don't forget to tip your uh, driver. I got the right to my rights, don't take them away. Hope you guys had a great day. Catch you on the next rise. Aloha.